Hey guys, what's going on? It's your favorite art teacher, Mr. Stuckey, and we're back with a new episode of Art Adventures with Mr. Stuckey, episode 5. And guess what? We're traveling to a new place that we've never been before on Art Adventures with Mr. Stuckey. Guess where we're going? We're going to a specific continent that has a lot of culture, a lot of history, and it has a lot of beautiful art structures, buildings, statues. And you know what that place is called? That continent is called Africa. And guess what? We're going to a specific place in Africa. We're going to the eastern part of Africa, located at the very, very top part of Africa. And you know what we're going to learn about today? We're going to learn about pyramids today, guys. Everybody say pyramids. And you know what we're going to learn also about the pyramids? We're going to learn about a specific animal that you can see that lives by the pyramids or you can see traveling through in that area. And its name starts with a C. Can anybody take a guess of what the name of this animal is called? Yes, guys, it's called a camel. Let me hear it, camel, guys. Yeah! So get ready and strapped in, because we're going to Africa today with Art Adventures with Mr. Stuckey. We're going to learn about Giza and the eastern part of Africa, and we're going to learn about the desert, the camels, and we're going to draw today. So let's go. Woo! The materials that you will need for this drawing exercise is one pencil, one blank sheet of paper, a Sharpie marker, and color pencils and or crayons. So we're gonna go just like this. We're gonna go up one, come down. That's one point, two point, come down to the third. That makes three for one triangle. And then usually for the triangle, we close off the bottom to seal it. But for this particular lesson, we're not gonna close off the bottom of the triangle to seal it. We're gonna leave it open and then we're gonna come back and do something different for it. So we're gonna make this one part of the triangle and leave the triangle open like that. And we're gonna come down on the side of this triangle to make it 3D to turn into a period. So we're gonna go from this top point and we're gonna come directly down on the side and give it a little bit of space to come down just like that so it adds a dimension to it. So now we have two triangles. Everybody say two triangles. Here we go, this one triangle, two. Next what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a middle triangle for our second pyramid of Giza. So the second triangle is gonna come off halfway up just like this on this side. And then we're gonna come up. So that's one point. We're gonna bring it up like this to this part right here. That makes two points. And then we're gonna come back down in the middle part so that makes three points. And once we make our third point for the second triangle, we're gonna come down on the side of the triangle from this top corner just like this. And then we're gonna draw it directly coming down to the side to give it definition to make two triangles. So here you see, one small triangle, one middle medium sized triangle. Now go ahead, pause the video. Take 30 seconds this time to create your pyramids. Okay guys, now we're back for our next step. So next what we're gonna do, since we have our two triangles that's already made in the middle for our pyramids is, we're gonna make our final triangle that's gonna go on the outside. To make our final triangle, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start with one point that goes halfway into the middle triangle line, like right about here. So we're gonna go halfway into the line. Right here, we're gonna start with our point, and then we're just gonna go diagonal straight up to make another point, and then we're just gonna bring it down halfway with the line, just gonna bring it down to the other point to meet right here. So it should be like a straight line going across all the triangles. Once we do that halfway point on the line, all we have to do is just add another triangle on the outside to give it extra dimension. To give it extra dimension, all we're gonna do is from this top point, we're just gonna draw another triangle diagonally that's gonna come up and connect to it just like that. So now we have our three pyramid triangles. So once we have our three pyramid triangles just like this, Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the ground. We'll create the sand. Cause you know the pyramids, they're in a the desert area and it's very sandy. It's very like, I probably say, wouldn't say abandoned, but you know, there's only certain animals that can live in a desert like that. Like rattlesnakes, you'll see a couple camels and stuff walking around. So that's what we're gonna create next. So go ahead and create your last triangle. Okay guys, now we're back and we're moving on to the next step. We're gonna create our desert scene with the sand that the pyramids and Giza are sitting on. So to create that, it's pretty much easy. So we're gonna make a lot of curvy lines and kind of like bumpy ridges in the actual desert to give it that desert feel of sand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start halfway towards the bottom of the paper and then we're just gonna come up towards the pyramids just like this and we're gonna curve it down like that so it kind of gives it a more sand of effect because it's lumpy because you know sand isn't really even it's kind of like all over the place and then we're gonna do another curvy line that's gonna come up 
hit the bottom part of the ridge of the pyramid just like that to kind of fill it in. And it's gonna go and make waves, kind of like curl and wave lines. It's gonna go hit that and it's gonna come down just like that. And then this third pyramid that's over here by itself, we're gonna do the same thing for that same exact pyramid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start right here at the end of this curve line that you see. And then we're gonna come up, come over, we're gonna hit that point so we close it in for that pyramid and then we're gonna come over to the side and then right here in this bottom part how it's open right here at the top we're just gonna do another lump curve line that's just gonna come down and then this one is just gonna close in up there on the corner and then on the back part so we're gonna give it some definition 3D for behind the small pyramid we're gonna do the same thing with the sand so we're gonna curve it down to come around for our desert and then right under it we're gonna draw a line that's gonna come long, come down, up and around, just like that. So go ahead, for this exercise right here, pause your video and take 20 seconds so you can draw your sand. Okay guys, now we're back. Let me see those pyramids. Hold them up to the screen so I can see it. Those are some good looking pyramids. I like those. I like the way you did the sand and the way you have your pyramids stacked up. Kind of similar to mine. Those look good. Like, let me hear it, guys. Let me hear some of that excitement. Good job. So now we're about to get into the fun part. So now what we're about to do with our pyramid is the pyramids, they were made out of different like cinder blocks and different like cement, different type of like ornament structures, and they had different ridges on it. So we're going to create the ridges on our pyramid. So to create the ridges is pretty, pretty much simple. So it's going to be straight lines, like rectangular shapes. So follow me and watch what I do. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a dash on the small part of the triangle. So I'm just go up. The triangle making dashes just like this to fill it all the way up to the top. So I'll make just straight lines filling up the ridges. So if you see, we're adding dimensions to our pyramid. So it looks 3D and it pops right off of the paper. And then next what I'm going to do is on the face part of the pyramids, the plain parts where you can see the regular triangles, we're going to do the same thing, but it's going to be slightly different kind of similar so pay attention and watch what I do so next what we're going to do is we're actually going to go across on it just like this so we're going across just drawing straight lines going across on the pyramid just like that and then the only difference is once we go across on the pyramid we're going to do small little dashes in between so you kind of see the ridges on the pyramid like it's cinder blocks so we're going to add those dashes in between onto the pyramid, just like that. So you get more of a definition and it pops right off of the paper. So you see how the small pyramid looks where you have all the different ridges and it's coming on? Isn't it popping right off of the paper, right guys? Yeah. Exactly. So we're going to do that same thing for the other two pyramids. Okay guys, welcome back. Let me see those pyramids. Oh man, I like those pyramids. They're looking real good. They're looking just like the pyramids that's in Giza. So look, next what we're going to do is to make our pyramids look very official. We already have our three pyramids, so we have our sand, we kind of have like our desert scene. The only animal that we're missing is the animals that we talked about earlier is we're missing camels. So we're going to draw two camels right here in the sand. So to draw the two camels, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make two small triangles just like this. So just watch. I'm going to draw two small triangles. One. Two. So once you draw the two small triangles just like that, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the head for the camel. So to create the head for the camel is pretty much simple. It's gonna be small squiggly lines. So it's gonna be a curved line. So one curved line is gonna come up like that. Another curved line is gonna come up like this. And then we're just gonna draw the feet for the camel. So the feet for the camel is just a straight line that's gonna come down. One, two, one, two. There we have our two camels that's in the desert. And then we're gonna draw a little wavy line of sand that the camels are walking on. Just like that. Go ahead and draw your two camels real fast. Okay guys, welcome back. Let me see those pyramids and the camels in the desert scenes. Hold it up to the screen so I can check it out. Oh man, those look amazing. I like those two camels that you drew in the desert. Those look cool. Those look authentic, very cool looking camels. I like how you did the pyramids too and they're just sitting right there in the sand. That looks incredible. So we're finished with our pyramid scene and our camels and our desert. So we're pretty much done, but there's still one more thing left that we have to do, guys. And you know what that is? We have to color it. Everybody say color. 
good job. But you know what? I got a magic trick. I'm going to count to three and I'm going to snap my fingers. And then my pyramid is going to be automatically colored. Everybody count with me. Come on, guys. Let's go. One, two, three. Okay, guys. Here it is. Doesn't that look amazing? Look at our pyramids. Pyramids look beautiful. Camels look beautiful. The desert looks amazing. And the sky is blue. So tune in next time to the Art Adventures with Mr. Stucky for episode six. We're going to travel somewhere else in the world. But as for Africa, this was an amazing trip. Until next time, see you guys later. Let's go. Yeah!